Unlocking the Mysteries, Passive Voice with Might. Hello there, language learners. Welcome to another exciting English grammar session. Today, we're going to delve into a very interesting aspect of English grammar. Using the passive voice with might. This can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we've got you covered. So, let's dive right in. Before we start dealing with might and passive voice, let's take a quick refresher on what the passive voice is. Passive voice is used when the focus is on the action, not who or what is performing the action. Here, the subject receives the action of the verb. An example would be, the cake was eaten. But how does might fit into this? Well, we're getting there. In English, we use modal verbs to express different degrees of certainty, ability, or advice. Might is one such modal verb, often used to suggest a small possibility of something happening. In the passive voice, modal verbs are placed in front of the main verb, which takes the form of be plus past participle. For example, in the sentence, the book might be read by John, might is the modal verb. Now, we're going to focus on how to identify sentences that use the passive voice with might. These sentences often have the following structure. Subject plus might plus be plus past participle plus by plus agent. The agent, if included, is what or who performs the action. In some sentences, it might not be necessary to mention it. Here are some examples. 1. The keys might be lost. 2. The exam might be passed by all the students. 3. The package might be delivered by tomorrow. To reinforce your understanding, let's do a few practice exercises. I will give you a sentence, and you have to identify if it is in the passive voice with might. Ready? Here we go. 1. They might finish the project by the end of this week. 2. The vase might be broken during the move. 3. She might be loved by everyone in the town. Take your time to go through these sentences and remember the structure we learned. Well, that wraps up our session on the use of passive voice with might. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing these structures to get a good grasp of them. Hopefully, this video has made this concept clearer for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Stay tuned for more videos on mastering English grammar. Happy learning!